Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing people, and events. Today I'm joined by a great guy who's brilliant as well as uh, an amazing sense of humor, pa Paolo Conti. Welcome, Paolo. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Spent two weeks on the keto diet getting ready for this. <laughs> Good. Not a carb in two uh, weeks? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh. I just, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Yeah, wonderful. Now, you are an attorney in mm -hmm. estate planning and elder law. That's right. And what? how did you come about doing that specifically? Okay, uh, well, um, to start, uh, you go to law school with all types of aspirations on what types of areas that you want to practice in mm -hmm. and you get towards the end of law school uh, after beginning with all the curriculum the core curriculum stuff mm -hmm. and you get out into the field and mm -hmm. do your internships and um, I learned very quickly that um, the sharp elbowed litigation and mm -hmm. the you know, the, mm -hmm. the pace of, uh, of sure. New York City at the time I was uh, living and working in New York City sure. Um, sure. was just not necessarily for me, but right. I did enjoy the law. Uh, right. I did enjoy this new knowledge uh, mm -hmm. that I had. Yeah. And so um, I looked at the area of estate planning mm -hmm. where um, mm -hmm. I had the ability to put people on a path um, that they needed to get on right. um, for right. themselves and for their loved ones. Right. And I was always, um, you know, I, I appreciated the, the end product mm -hmm. uh, and the face-to-face -face with people, right. whereas um, right. doing the litigation back and forth in, in, in the big city, um, it, it, just, it just didn't suit my personality. I had to find sure. something in the law that I enjoyed, sure. which suited my personality, and um, I discovered estate planning, and it's been fantastic ever since. And it's been great, and you're extremely dedicated. What I've noticed uh, about you, Paolo, in, especially in our meetings, is mm. that each time you show up, uh, you share very valuable information that we're not all aware of, and it really makes a difference in lives. And that's what you do every time you meet with the, these each individual. You change their life, and you do it in a way that you're very gifted. You've done this. You're in your own business. You work mm. seven days a week, and uh, for how many years? Well, um... When I was working at the big firms in the city, uh -huh. doing uh, similar work, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's it's a lot of work in the city. And then when I uh, hung out my own shingle and created my own firm, uh, I continued in the same vein. This is the area of law that I've always been in, mm -hmm. um, and I just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And um, with respect to um, you know the meetings mm -hmm. um, that uh, mm -hmm. that I've seen you at, yes. I like to uh, present. Uh, a lot of the things that I learn mm -hmm. uh, in uh, brief sound bites mm -hmm. uh, that are entertaining, and, and but also, um, but and also provide a bit of uh, so they're entertaining, they're educational, and also provide a little bit of a cautionary tale, right. uh, because right. I've seen all types of uh, aspects with respect to estate planning and elder law. Mm -hmm. You name it, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Practicing law in New York City. Um, there's just so much history there. Sure. There's so many ha families there. I have worked on $200 million estates. Yeah. I have made arrangements to bury indigent people at Potter's Field in uh -huh. the city. I've worked on everything in between. Um, so the uh, stories right. uh, that I have from all of my experiences um, would, uh, would really make a head spin. As so. It's very, very important. I know you personally told me um, off the cuff some advice that was extremely valuable that mm -hmm. we assume we don't have your expertise, your experience, and your ability to work with people, so you have a gift. Mm -hmm. But what you shared was something that we assume things, and it's so important. So in looking at that, um, I'm sure you take care of your health, keto or not. You mm -hmm. look great. And uh, you walk the Again. walk and talk the talk. I appreciate it. What are some general tips in terms of uh, estate law, um, elder law, estate planning that you can share um, that are important? Okay. Well, um, I could. I'll start by saying uh, the the words of disaster. Okay, and what I hear, which are the red flags, which is why um, I recommend having a conversation with people, mm -hmm. is 
dad would have wanted it that way. <laughs> and I hear that and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> because what dad would have wanted uh, may not be what someone else would have wanted uh, that is also in the family line. So right. with respect to um, advice that I would give to people, uh -huh. um, there will come a day for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, if you sense there might be an issue or a problem, uh, with respect to your state, mm -hmm. take care of it now. Mm -hmm. okay? Sit down with someone like me uh, to explain the pros and cons of the situation. There's right. always family dynamics. I mean, we all are, you know, we all have families and right. with respect to uh, dynamics, it's, mm -hmm. it's just life. Mm -hmm. Well, it, if you could see a problem right. <laughs> coming on the horizon, it right. just makes sense just to, uh, handle it when you're here now mm -hmm. as opposed to uh, when the time comes and, and down the road. Right. You said something valuable in terms of the extension of a will, mm -hmm. why a trust is so important, which you mm -hmm. work with. Can you explain why that is so valuable, that not just to have a will to really okay. uh, go into having a revocable or irrevocable? Trust? I can give you a top level view. Right. Um, a will is a document that um, that only goes into effect upon death. Uh -huh. And it is a public document also um, upon death when it is filed. For 25 cents a page, you can go down to New York County Surrogates Court and go print Joan Rivers' will. Uh -huh. It's there, you name it. Uh, <laughs> right. What is it, Tony Soprano, James Gandolfini. There's always these uh, estate cases in New York. Sure. And um, sure. so to distinguish a will from a trust, it's a vehicle where you can put your assets in it when you're alive, uh -huh. depending on what the type of trust that it is. Right. Um, you could even be in control and manage your assets inside of the trust while you're alive. Right. But the distinction for trust right. is if you lose capacity. Right. If you're still here right. and you're still alive, you lose capacity. Right. The trust can be a vehicle to um, provide uh, immediate uh, action steps in the event uh -huh. you lose capacity, whereas right. you've got a will. Right. And that only goes into effect upon death. So, so that's a, a unique component of it. And there right. are, um, there, there are many flavors of trust. Sure. Uh, what sure. has just come up in my practice so much is, um, my practice is twofold. Mm -hmm. It is the estate planning, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of call that State planning is like death planning because the plan goes into effect upon death. Right. But then there's elder law, which we're touching on a little bit, sure. which is the area of um, losing capacity. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and then what are some steps to take to contemplate, uh, you know, worst case scenarios when people have to go into nursing homes and things like that. Right. Um, right. And if not set up properly, right. the cost of nursing homes could be borne by the individual as private pays, and that could um, right. really just wipe out a lifetime of savings right. um, and right. just create a tough overall situation right. um, for families. Right. So in my practice, uh, I would probably say at this point, it's getting up to about 75% of my concentration is in the elder law area mm -hmm. because um, everyone always talks about the baby boomers, right? It's, you know, the the, the children of the uh, World War II parents that mm -hmm. came home after the war and mm -hmm. uh, the baby boomers are getting ready to retire or they have retired and mm -hmm. they've accumulated all these assets and right. what is their greatest fear? Right. Their greatest fear is that the nursing home or government or whatever is going to take it away. Right. And they um, come to me and they approach me and they say, all right, we need to get our affairs in order. And what is a way to hope for the best mm -hmm. Uh, to die on our 101st birthday mm -hmm. in our bed, but plan for the worst, which sure. is that worst case scenario of, sure. uh, of uh, you know, incapacity or a nursing home sure. or all, all of that type of stuff. Sure. And so that's when um, there are specific types of trusts right. designed to uh, contemplate for, um, for those worst goodness. case scenarios. And you, we, we earlier shared in terms of something, and you mentioned a quote, and mm -hmm. that actually is you, because mm -hmm. you have a gift of taking something extremely complex mm -hmm. with so many variables and so many mm -hmm. things and making you feel 
so not overwhelmed and mm -hmm. not intimidated and just it's it, it is a gift you have mm -hmm. and what was that quote again from oh, Albert Einstein? You, yeah you know it's <laughs> a quote from Einstein yeah if you can't explain it simply enough right. you don't know it well enough I like that very much and that's, that's the way that I approach it um, you know I, I apply that to all aspects of life because this is complex stuff sure. and um, yeah. I you know, put myself in the shoes of my clients right. and as just a consumer in general. You sure. want to be comfortable with the strategy that you're pursuing. Sure. I mean, you put your hands or you or, um, you know, you, you put your affairs in the hands of a professional and you sure. rely on them for expertise and advice yeah. and you defer to them because you do other things in your life. But at the right. same time, right. you want to know what's going on. Sure. Okay, you want a plain English explanation exactly. of what's going on. Um, so I believe that um, I've, I'm proficient at taking that complex mm -hmm. information and simplifying it in a way that clients can understand it, and they're very um, they're appreciative of that. And you see it, and you are, and and it's and mm -hmm. extremely valuable in the people I've worked in the past to, mm -hmm. to be able to have someone that really is empathetic and really can explain in full detail and make it simple mm -hmm. where just this situation alone is extremely overwhelming and intimidating right. for most that you make it seem like we can get through this yes. I'm here every step of the way mm -hmm. and anything you don't understand I'm gonna take the time to explain it to you simply succinctly and to the point and, uh, and that's exactly that's what, what I say at. to my clients I say that's great. I know we covered a lot of information today if you have a question, call me. That's great. And they do. That's and really good to know, Paula. Clients, you know, I just share an experience just from the past two weeks where I uh, really took the time to explain, um, you know, certain steps that I was taking with a client. And he took me up on my offer. We spoke and emailed back and forth, and he was so comfortable with the process and so pleased with the time that I took to explain it. Right. He's been a tremendous advocate for me. And, um, my phone has been ringing as a result of him, and I had uh, two new clients from him because he right. was able to simply Understand. transcribe right. the things that we discussed, and right. um, you, you make the people that you work with your advocates, and right. that's been great. And it's you being you. Yeah, I can only be myself. I, I, I don't know. But you do a great so, job. Well, thanks. So thank you so much for yeah. being here. Okay. Uh, Always pleasure, a pleasure. Pleasure to have you. Mm -hmm. Great job. Yeah. Um, so remember, when you eat well, feel great, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, moderation and balance is key. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night.